Welcome to the garden. For the first time in over a year, I can see the bottom of our compost pile. We had this lined with logs for an experiment. The idea behind this experiment was to add carbon to the compost pile by breaking down these logs into humus, which is that rich black organic material, perfect for growing vegetables. I think this Hugel compost was a fun idea, but it just takes a little bit too much time to break down. So from now on, I'm just going to stick to dried leaves. I'm out here today sifting our compost, and I've already done about three quarters of the pile. I've got about one quarter to go. And here's the final result. It's a really nice, fine, sifted mix. It's just crawling with life. Look at all these millipedes though, holy cow. They are just everywhere, big ones, little ones. But I'm setting up my little angular sifter. It's just a, about a 45 degree angle. And it's just a frame with hardware cloth at the center. And all I do is fluff the compost against it. So before I just heap all this back in a big mound, I'm going to add a bunch of dried leaves, dried grass and stuff. So by adding some of this dry, leafy material, we're going to be incorporating a bunch of new carbon, which will help balance out that nitrogen and feed those microbes. And it'll help dry it out a little bit so that we can come back again and probably do one more sifting before the end of the year. Once winter comes around, the pile is basically dormant till next spring. So I'm glad we're getting a sift in now and we'll probably squeeze another one in later. But this is much needed brown material. So I'm gonna be very generous and add as much as I can. That's really important to help it finish completely. You can have what looks like finished compost and it can actually be nutrient deficient. So it can take up nitrogen out of the soil, which is the exact opposite of what we want. So it pays to really add tons of brown material. You really cannot overdo it. In fact, you could use 100% brown material like these dried leaves. is a massive pile. I'm always amazed that we can get an entire wheelbarrow full of compost and still the mound has grown. Just from introducing all that new air and that is really really healthy for the pile. So is actually mounding it up like this. This can actually benefit by keeping it warm down in the center, keeping it active. But the most important thing is introducing that new brown material. So all these leaves even the grass clippings, that's really going to benefit to balance out our food scraps. So by saving just about every single autumn leaf from the driveway and the deck and the lawn, I think we're going to have plenty of brown material to add to the pile all year round. I want to be able to fill my containers. I want to plant new pots. I want to spread it all over the flower garden. I want to make a bunch of batches of compost tea and have some left over. So I hope you're saving your autumn leaves this summer to add to your pile. 
Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.